how to achieve excellence in life, how to be successful in many areas of your life, how to have guarantee that your dreams will come to pass. I'm not speaking about religion. I'm not speaking about lucky. I'm speaking about belief in yourself. You know, Kevin, many youths, they have dreams. They have dreams to achieve. They want things to come true in their lives, but they are not secure that they can do something to make this dream to come to pass. That is true. They don't have this self-motivation. They don't have this, as you said, this belief in themselves. And this is what actually keeps this person from actually achieving what it is they want in life. Do you believe in yourself? Believe in yourself is the topic of today. Stay right there. The TV program, where are you going? It's on. Surround yourself with greatness. The people who you surround yourself with in your life are important. If you surround yourself with people who build you up, who make you grow, who challenge you to be better, you're going to become great. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with people who just tear you down, who tell you all the reasons why it's not going to work, who tell you that you're not good enough, I call people like that the little man. If you surround yourself with people who are the little man, then soon you become the little man. If they listen to their friends, if they listen to the world that was currently available to them, they would have never been successful because what they created was not possible. Where your heart, your passion can create something, it can create a new reality that didn't exist before. So you want to do things because it's the right thing to do, because you were meant to do, because you feel it. And that comes from your heart, not because it makes logical sense to do it. You can always come up with an excuse why you can't do something. And you can say, I'm going to wait for the conditions to be perfect before I go out. The conditions are never perfect. If you wait for the conditions to be perfect to make your dream a reality, then you're going to be sitting on your dream for the rest of your life. If you want something, you go get it. Many of you that are watching this program right now, you, you want something great in your life. You, you dream about have a good job, have a nice career, but sometimes you refuse to take steps that sometimes you make you to take risks because you don't believe that you can accomplish it. Sometimes maybe your job in the school, in the university, when somebody mentions your name to assume a responsibility, you feel like, you know, some, the butterflies in your belly. You, you're afraid. You're afraid of it because you don't believe that you can make it. Yeah, and that's true because probably, probably this person is afraid of being successful. I don't know because if it is that you want something like that, so as Pastor said, you need to go for what it is you need. It's just as the video you just said, you just saw there. He said, whatever it is you want in life, you have to go for it. You can't just sit back, relax, and wait. And this is the problem. People today, they they look on the motivation of others to self-propel them in order for them to achieve things in life. And it's the wrong way. You need to do what it is necessary for you to become successful. You can't wait for the situations around you, as the video say. Perfect. No, my friend. You have to believe in yourself. You can't count on lucky. Ah, so-and-so is successful because he's lucky. So-and-so is successful because their parents support them. Ah, but so-and-so is successful even though that person has a disability in the body because his person, you know, had somebody to help them, somebody had pity on them, had mercy on them, and opened the doors for them. No, my friend. Everyone that is successful today, they had to do something to reach there. And even though if you believe in God or not, even God will do nothing for you if you don't give the first step. God don't do nothing by himself in nobody's life unless if this person believes that he can do something. But for you to believe that even God can help you to reach where you want to reach, you have to believe that you can make it. Because for example, if you want to have a nice career in the university, you want to become a doctor or an engineer, you, you have to believe yourself because God will not do the exams in the university for you. <laughs> God will not make it, your, 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 you know, the final exam, the lecture or whatever, the conclusion there. And at the end of the, the university, you have a, a, a work that you have to, to prepare to introduce the teachers and whatever. So God's not going to do that for you. But if you don't believe in yourself, you, you even give up. You even give up some plans you have in your life because you don't believe that you can make it. That is true. So, it's all about belief and it's all about you making that step forward. You know, Pastor, just give you guys the remedy, give you all the tools. 
for you to move forward, for you to accomplish what you want in life. You know, so we want to just stay with us here and we're going to be back with you on very much more on our front concerning yourself of believing in yourself and this topic is going to bring a lot more to you as it is. Stay tuned. I'm a happy person today. Today I have a smile on my face and it's not fake. I have people around me, they're real friends. My family is blessed. I have good relationships with my sister, my mom, my dad. Today I have dreams. Today I want to live. I want to do more. But it wasn't like this before. Three years ago when I came to YPG, I used to be a depressed person. I was suicidal. I didn't have I didn't have any motivation to live anymore. I used to cut my wrist because of the pain that I had inside of me. I would not speak to my sister even though we lived in the same house. I, I, ha I didn't want to talk to anyone. It was like we all lived separate lives. We all had our own battles. That is how I came to YPG. In the YPG, I met real friends, people that were there that helped me. People that were there whenever I had an argument at home with my friends, whether it was my love life or my family problems. They were always there. They were always there to counsel me, to show me the way. I didn't know where I was going. They showed me. They showed me the way. They showed me how I could get there. They taught me how to dream again. Today I have found a real family, YPG. You see the story of this person. This person came to the YouTube group full of problems. And here in the YouTube group, the two that we use. First is to make you to change your mentality. To change the way how you see yourself. You know, Kevin, that many of that we have, that they came in the YouTube group, the main problem was not what was going on around them. The main problem was what was going on in their minds. Because of what the parents say, because of what the friends say, because of what the neighbors say, because of what the society says, they stop believing in themselves in a way they should believe. That's true. And people pay more attention to the negative voice in life. They pay more attention. That, you know, that positive voice always speaks mm -hmm. to that person. And they, they never, for some reason, pay attention to it. But the negative voice always carries this person to a limit where they stop believing in, the, in, in their dreams, in their goals. And it will show what you're saying before. Just as you are making the point when they say, um, God is not going to do, you know, he's, gonna, he's not going to react unless you act, in yes. other words. So you must put your foot forward, you must do something in order for God to make that impact in your life. But the good mm -hmm. is that they choose to just sit down and relax, bear this problem in your mind, not do anything about it, well then nothing is going to get solved. Yes, a very, ex a very good example of it is that there are, there are many people that they have financial success in life, they are famous, they achieve their dreams, even though they don't believe in God. Many people, famous people in the world, they are very famous, they achieve a lot of great things in their lives, but they don't believe in God. They believe in other things. Some of them don't even believe that God exists. Yeah, but true. why they reach where they want to reach? Because they believe in themselves. They believe in themselves and they fought for it. Because faith, I usually say that, faith is not religion. Faith is assurance. If they're famous people, they don't have assurance. They don't believe that God exists. But at least they have a choice that they can make it. And, that's true. and you never look at the, the final product of what somebody has achieved. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I was speaking to someone and they told me this is true. You, you always look at what is the final product yeah. of somebody's life. Of and you course. don't know what that person did in order to get there. And it's the same thing you need to do. Because it is not as though this person has more knowledge than you or he has more, more wisdom than you. It's just the fact that he's using his knowledge, he's using his wisdom to achieve what it is he wants. And he made or she made that step in order for them to be successful. And sometimes even the reason that you see the person have, this person didn't have before. Exactly. Had to fight for the knowledge and then use that knowledge to mm -hmm. fight for something else. Yeah, that is true. But what you see is just the result. You have to understand, my friend, that you are the one that you have to fight for your dreams. If you have dreams to achieve, come to the YPG. Here, it's not a fair tale, huh? <laughs> but your dreams can become true because you are going to believe in yourself. In the YPG, you are going to remove this negativity from your mind, the low self-esteem. If you are a victim of, of peer pressure, if you have a lot of complexes in your mind because things that you went through, here in the YPG, you can solve it. If you want 
You, if you want to achieve great things in life, sometimes you feel like you cannot make it. You see these numbers at the bottom of the screen. You can call us in these numbers or send your WhatsApp message. We are going to talk to you. We are going to help you. Or maybe if you are a father or mother, you see that your son sometimes, you know, he's involved in wrong things and you'd like to help him, help her. Send your WhatsApp message or SMS message, these numbers that appear at the bottom of the screen. And invite your son, your daughter, or you, a young person that's watching. Come this Sunday, 1 p.m. at number two, Brother of Sesame Julius, in the meeting of the YPG. I want you to watch this video clip with this beautiful song, and we're gonna be back with you right after. Sacrificing, don't be scared of what people think of you. Doesn't make you wanna hide the real inner you. You were not alone, so let them criticize. He made you untouchable, but now you realize they will even try to bring you down to size, but they will never touch the heart that you hold inside. You will want to be a winner, never be a loser. Our motivation makes our dreams to be discovered. Working timelessly every day of the week. Desire to rest but never want to go to sleep Like the 12 disciples, we wanna save souls We make it a difference to save the people of this world It's time to make a revolution A revolution is what is missing It's time to make it all happen Stop the thinking, let's go ahead with action Every chain it has to be broken Freedom must come to us as a token It's time to take back possession of what belonged to us from the beginning As we know Satan, DC, Adam and Eve as the song says, my friend, you are the one that you have to keep your dreams alive. Yeah, Kevin. Mm -hmm. If you allow people to take away your dreams, my, my friend, nobody going to make it come true. Nobody. You have to keep your dreams alive and fight for it. We are going to make a prayer for you that say, Pastor, I want to move forward in my life. I don't want to give up on my dreams. And sometimes I don't have strength for nobody. I have nobody to support me. I have nobody to give me, you know, a word of motivation, a word that will, you know, push me to moving forward. We are going to pray for you right now. And if you do what we are going to tell you to do, things are going to work for you. There where you are, forget about who's besides you. If people you mock you, who laugh at you or not, doesn't matter. I want you to close your eyes now. We're going to make this prayer for you now. My God and my Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for this young person or the father or the mother that is watching this program right now and feel downcast, discouraged, because he tried many times, my God. Maybe this youth tried many times to go to that school, or to try to get that job, or to enter in that university, or to have a boyfriend like this, or a girlfriend like that. And because this person failed many times, maybe this person is discouraged to try again. Maybe this person is discouraged thinking that he cannot make it, or she cannot make it. My God, your word says that everything is possible for those who believe. So my Father, let this youth is start to believe in himself, believe in herself first, believe 
that they can move it forward. So that, my God, through this action of faith in themselves, together with you, they can make their dreams to come to pass. My God, I bless the life of all the youths throughout Trinidad and Tobago. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You see, now is with you. As Jesus himself said, everything is possible for those who believe. If you believe, your dreams can come to pass. I want to invite you to listen to our radio program tomorrow, 7 a.m. Huh? We're going to be live again, and I believe we're going to be discussing a bit more and mm -hmm. emphasizing more on this topic, so you can call us. You know, we're going to be telling the same numbers live there on the radio program, so you can call in, you can give your opinion, you can ask questions. You can be a part of it. 91.9, the street, FM. 7 a.m. from 7 to 8. Saturday, we are going to have a very nice event with the Intelliment Group. You saw? You see how I'm using the jersey here. The Intelliment Group bring again together with the YouTube group and all the men in the University of Church in Trinidad and Tobago are going to be together this Saturday, 3 p.m. The event called Excellent Men. Sorry, ladies, this is only for men. Excellent Men. You want to be excellent in everything you do? An excellent student, an excellent businessman, an excellent son, an excellent husband, an excellent boyfriend. Saturday, 3 p.m. for those who want to be excellent men. Sunday, 1 p.m., number two, Brody, upstairs, Mario Jura's opposite the gate. We are going to have the clash of the tribes again. Sunday after Sunday, the three tribes come in their numbers, come in their colors, and they have that healthy competition. To see. It was really nice. It was really nice to see. You know, we had karaoke there with the youth and they really, really enjoyed it. It was really nice. Something you should, you know, come and experience on you. So, if you want to achieve great things in life, don't forget. Believe in yourself. Come together with us in the YPG, where you're going to put the negativity away and make you discover the great potential, the great winner person that is hidden inside of you. Don't forget. Call the numbers up in the bottom of the screen. Send a text message. Email us. Visit our Facebook page, like our videos in the YouTube, and before you do anything in your life, remember, think about where you're going. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Jesus is the way, he is your shining light. You gotta hold on and make you feel alright, hold on. Gotta hold on. Hey. Jesus is the way, He is your shining light. You gotta hold on and make you feel alright. Hold on. Hey. You gotta hold on. Hey. He will take you straight through your stormy weather. You gotta hold on and keep yourself all together. Marijuana and alcohol can never make you better. You gotta keep your faith burning and burning up forever. So many nights you stayed up feeling so sad and depressed. You're not the first, you're not the last. Forget about your stress. You gotta stand up and say to yourself, You are blessed. Jesus on the throne, He gonna take care of the rest. Tattoo on your chest, tattoo all over your face. Now you got it there, you're feeling like you're out of place. Hold on. You gotta hold on. Jesus is the way, he is your shining light. Uh -huh. You gotta hold on and make uh -huh. you feel alright. Hold on. You gotta hey. hold on. You gotta hold on. Hey. Jesus is the way, he is your shining light. Ooh. You gotta hold on and make you feel alright. Hold on. Hey. You gotta hold on. Uh -huh. The devil tempted Jesus on top of hill. Try to make him go against his own father's will. Jesus started rebuking, the devil started running. The blessings of the Holy Spirit even started pouring. I was born to be a winner, never be a loser. Always gonna fight to become an overcomer. Change will be coming as I restore my life. Jesus is my savior and he's my guiding light. If I forsake you, Lord, I ask for forgiveness. Not one day you left me here in the wilderness. But it's up to you to decide who you are serving. The chance is in your hands to know where you are going. For real. Jesus is the way.